Come on, no, 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 no. Get the car started, let's go. That is a UFO if I ever seen one. Hello and welcome to They Are Here, an alien abduction horror, as it says right there on the screen. Anyways, though, I want to do a shout out to Tom the Cat, and he brought this game to my attention. I, I, I don't know much about it. I know there's aliens, I know there's abduction, and I am excited to get playing with this. But before we start, you know, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about me. If you want, I can't force you. However, this is they are here i'm space cadet enough wasting your time let's jump in i am super excited for this unexplained phenomenon occurred at Grayswood farm on the night of august 7th the sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield the lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds after a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack and bite him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What it is? What is it? Deliberate deception, drawing attention to oneself, or a sensation about an alien invasion. Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Gray's Wood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Let's go over Channel 1 News, and it is dark. It is really dark. We already got three circling around above. Okay, it's gonna, it's gonna force show. We got camera out. Let, let's snap a picture. Woo! This is great material. All right, Sherman's house this way. Okay, it's a little unsettling. This is actually only a demo too, so. Is there anything out there? Ooh, that crunch bro i'm getting goosebumps i'm getting goosebumps man oh my gosh all right let's this is a nice house doors open farmer's note ms fox we made an appointment but something happened okay why did i look to the right so i'm trying to read the cursive and i should i should have just looked to the right and it's right there we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful, Peter Sherman. I seriously can't believe I looked at the left page and stuff looking at the right. Hello? Anyone in here? It's nothing by me, right? Because I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm already on edge right now. The phone. Can we call anyone? There's some kind of static there. All right, so a nice little family vacation. Doors locked. Should I close the front door? It only quarter closes. It's true. You guys left the milk out. That's gonna spoil. This is a tight kitchen. I'd be stressed out trying to cook there, especially if you open that. Is there noises up there? I don't want to go up there. Oh, there's a light coming from there. Mom, well, before we check that, let's try this left door. Oh no. Okay, that, that that's the abduction room, but before we go there, let's go here then. I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the Greys. 
These are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed, have severe headaches and a buzz in their ears, and animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of a field or a road a few kilometers away from home. I don't know what kilometers are. I'm American. Say miles. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens established control over their minds and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body incisions to be exact. During palpitation, it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. Nothing's gonna show up behind me just when I'm reading it. Hey, that's open. The dresser's open a little bit. Dude. This is a book that we needed. Children's Diary. Sticker. Found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from the abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around very slowly above the ground. A huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt like a punch. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to be it seemed to me that they communicate with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. I t okay, take a photo of the diary. Please let nothing be behind me. That door's closed. That door wasn't closed before, was it? Are you sure Did about I close that? that door? I didn't close that door. A photo from the internet. Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. I'm so paranoid, man. Should we check? Oh, man. I, I don't know. I feel as if we... Uh... Okay, it's nothing. Nothing. Oh, don't tell me we're going to have to hide. <laughs> yeah, boy. Those footsteps for me? Okay, they are. Oh, no. So she was taken. The radio. Before we look at that, let's look around. Plane in the field. Boy cop. Farmer's note. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the windows was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Yeah, you and me both. Okay. Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh, I was trying to read about the walkie-talkie. No. Missing daughter's farmer. Farmer's missing daughter. No! No! 
No, 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 no. What do I do? Do I go outside? Everything's just... I never seen this part of the house. I didn't even explore all this. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They tortured me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple, abduction. I only remembered the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. Oh, is there... Oh, no. Well, there's the implanter. He got it. In the note, Peter Sherman claims that he cut out an alien implant. Maybe take it? I don't know if it's really yours to take. Be good proof. Let's take it. No, what if the aliens use it to track me now? Dead animals. Oh, man. VHS. Uh, she's missing half her body. No, wait. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say maybe that's us, but not cool, man. I was trying to figure out what you're saying. No. Oh, man. No. There's five. That's my car. Go away. Shift to run to the car. Close. That's not the girl, is it? Oh, please just let me go. No, oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Come on, no, 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 no. Get the car started, let's go. That is a UFO if I ever seen one. Wow. Nothing around me, right? Woo. I don't think they're happy. <laughs> Was that supposed to happen? Hey, that was the end of the demo. That was really fun. I actually, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it to my wish list. I am, and I'm gonna get it when it comes out. That was awesome. That was the demo for "They Are Here" and "Alien Abduction." Or that was really, really good. I want to thank Tom the Cat uh, one last time uh, for that, actually, because I did. I'm excited for this. There hasn't been an alien abduction game that I know of like this. And this is something I've been wanting to play. It's something that I... A game like this. But anyways, though, that uh, that was... They are here. I'm Space Cat, and I hope you join me again as we explore the cosmos together. Hopefully not with them, though.
Bye.